Hi guys, welcome back. I'm recording immediately after the last one. So, oh, what's happening? June Tempest, yeah, it was kind of a big deal earlier. <sighs> okay, right. So, last time we were in the junkyard. Frank came and got work and made her find the money for Drew. And then the demon guy who is in charge of Frank's operation sheet, crap, whatever it is, came and beat the crap out of Drew. We held Mikey back and kept the money. Um, and uh, end up in the theatre with Rachel. And now we are having dinner with our family. Well, I'll try to sneak off out. Yeah, dude, how's it going? I'm just going to explore your house. It's on the floor. Why is it plugs on the floor? Is that a normal thing in like America? It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. <laughs> hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. was pretty awesome tonight she sure was and I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play we can be very <laughs> persuasive Oops. together persuasive yes that's a word for it I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself I can see why the two of you get along so well you can because it still seems crazy to me Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. <laughs> you think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or... Subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. That food would have been What if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. Huh. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, trying. Chloe, you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Open. Can't see that, but you know, whatever. Don't smash anything, Chloe. Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Ugh, can I have green glasses and stuff? Good God. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Let's work. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, I thought I was supposed to be helping set the table. What? Solved it. That's a bit shit. I'll do that, Chloe. Oh. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. So I opened the cupboard, the wrong cupboard. Oops. Hey, Chloe. Yeah. Drew's out of surgery, in pain, but okay. Yeah. Hi, Shane, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you stuck with me. Wish I could help more. Hey, Steph says he was okay. What? That was a busy day. Most heroes do. I'm not a hero, man. 
It's off to the table with you. Don't look so weird, Lee. Where have you put them plates? I wish I had my mom around. Yes, Chloe? What next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I'm gonna shout across to him. I like. will be a dear. Honey, Talking what drink would you like? As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Drink. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Oh, your drink. wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Oh, God, here we go. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? So it's me. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. Don't I'd be lying him. Don't if I said I didn't him. have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Rude. Why is that speech for Do I need to continue talking? Or do I take this to Rose? Rose, your husband wants a sherry. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> wow. It's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Jesus. People like with money in that in this kind of house are just like so stuck up. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. The triangle shaped one. There's two triangle shaped ones. I'm guessing he sits at the front of the table there. He's the head of the house. Chloe! I was stuck at Dowie Pants, but you know. Um. Rose, are you done with that? Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. It's a bit weird. And, uh, light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. Awesome.
You wouldn't have said that you had your mom, would you? And fire. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Are they actually using chopsticks? Are they using knife fork? Oh, so, my God, Chloe, I they used chopsticks are there. you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Um, I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <coughs> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine awesome. how excellent. difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times oh, as God, these use the word that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. No, you don't, you liar. Uh, to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking baloney. Rachel? Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? Oh. We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is A that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. Ooh. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Oh, Rachel's gonna snap. Rachel is gonna snap. Blow the candles out. Blow the candles out. Someone blow them candles out. Cause she's gonna scream. It's gonna expire fire. Oh no. Politician for one fucking minute. 
Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Bum bum bum. Oh well, it looks like I'm adding this to the other one then. Oh yeah, bugger. I didn't expect it to be so short. Uh, to think I started recording again just to... Oh, he's going to go say Chloe's name next, isn't he? Oh, I know he's crossed Chloe's name out. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze again. his mom a bit. Is it his mom? She looked too young. She didn't look like his mother. That face just not. So wait. She's actually her mother. Great. I makes no I don't understand. <laughs> oh wonder. Right, I had to skip this, can't I? Yeah, right. You took the blame for Rachel, you went along with Rachel's story. Wow, everyone took the blame for Rachel, but really? You empty your pockets at David's request. You refused to empty your pockets. You gave David the money to stay with Mikey. You asked Rachel for a kiss. Oh my god. Wait, so that person I attacked that night was him? Was it him? No, it wasn't him. He had a little tie over his neck. That's all right then. All right, exit. What? F so many. Right, okay. I think I'm gonna have to do the next episodes like shorter than what I've done this time. I like edit out the way in that though. I need to try and get my camera to work again because I don't know why it's not working. But, right, so next episode's the last one. I will do it in four parts, hopefully, but I need to merge these ones so I'll do two big episodes. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time.